Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, and I'm Reed, and this is Reed's Beach Trip, and this is my finale for my Fall For You project pan. This project pan was created by Claire Elizabeth, they did it in the fall. Um, mine was basically from the fall till Valentine's Day, so I could get some use and some love out of these products. Um, and I think I didn't do, I didn't, I don't feel like I did too bad. I think I got, well, I have half of them left. <laughs> so, I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> It's a start. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about the empty that I needed to have done if I didn't. Epic fail. Epic, epic fail because I had so little of this left. And this is my Hydrating Mineral Water Spray by number 7. I finished it. Um, if I could still get it, I would definitely buy more of this. This would probably be one of my top... It would be number 2 or number 3 because I do have one that I like better. <laughs> but um, I am bummed. That, but I needed to use it up. Uh, it's not something I've been able to get a hold of for the last couple years, so I needed to use it up. The next one was my Pillow Plump Soap and Glory and Clairvoyance. Um, this has been in a couple projects now. Um, I've been using it. I love this plumper. It is one of my favorites. By the, uh, it's the Sexy Mother Pucker lines. No, this is the Pillow Plump one. Is this part of this? Yes, it's part of the Sexy Mother Pucker line. I probably got halfway through it. It feels like it's very lightweight now, so I'm hoping I can finish this up in another project coming up. That's the goal. Another lip product that I was trying to use up was my Stila Palay. <clears throat> and I used it almost every day possible. So I've got probably half of it used. Um, but I have other nudes that I really want to work on. Um, with what's going on when you have to wear stuff and, and nudes worked really well. So I do like this one. Um, I don't know when I will get back to it, which sounds really bad, but it's the truth. I just don't know when I'm going to get back to it. Another one that was an epic fail that I did not use enough and it's been in like, this is like the fourth project this thing's been in. And this is my Soap and Glory Spritz Me Crick Hydrating Moisture Mist. Um, I just use one little spritz here and there and I rub it in and I'm good. And I don't use it every day. Um, especially like if I have long sleeves on when I'm getting ready in the morning. Not thinking about it. It's like, you know, let's, let's put some on here right now. Um, I do love the concept of this. I love how it goes on my skin. And that bergamot. I really do love the smell of that bergamot. So. But it's an epic fail. Four projects and I still haven't got squad done with it. One of them I'm close to getting done. I think it's down to, it's lower than that line, um, is my Tinted Moisturizer by number seven. I mean, this project is about your favorite items. So you guys are going to see a lot of number seven in this project because it's my favorite items. But um, this is one of my favorite uh, Tinted Moisturizers. I go back to this every time. I try other ones and I just come back. I just keep coming back to this one. <laughs> um, I bought probably about four tubes of this. I like how this goes on. I like how it feels. I love it wearing it on my non-makeup days when I'm just doing skincare. This is my go-to moisturizer. So that's two days out of the week and stuff. So hopefully this will make it into a project for me to finish up. Also, the last epic fail because I was so close. Oh, so close. And I didn't make it. No. I thought for sure I would have this done. This is my number seven beautiful matte foundation. No. I didn't get there. So close. Um, I did, if I hadn't had the six weeks of it not working, the pump not working and trying to get it to work, and then of course when I'm filming it, it finally started working because it, it made a click sound. It did. It was stuck. And it wasn't moving up. And then when it did, I've been using it nonstop. This has been my go-to foundation this whole time. And I still am just so close. And yet, did not finish. So I did have five items I did not finish. So I finished half of the items that I put in there to work on. So I don't feel like it's a bad fail. But it wasn't a great success. But I did finish five items. Five I did not. But you will probably be seeing these throughout the year in other projects because, gosh darn it, 
I have more of these. I have duplicates of these. These are duplicates. These are favorites. These are when I go in the store and I see them, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a sale, and I buy them. <laughs> so, um, that's my finale. Um, but like I said, you'll probably be seeing some of these in some other projects that they need to be used on. So, hopefully, everybody else enjoyed it. Um, please check out Claire Elizabeth. She comes out with some wonderful project pan ideas. I really enjoy how she thinks things out and plans them. So definitely check her out and check out the rest of the ladies that are and gents that are project panning and I will talk to you soon.